August 3 Daily Devotion 1st Chronicles 15 verses 1 to 29 2nd Samuel chapter 6 verses 12 to 23 2nd Samuel chapter 6 verses 14 to 15 And David danced before the Lord with all his might and David was wearing a linen ephod So David and all the house of Israel brought up the ark of the Lord with shouting and with the sound of the horn. Let's do the dance of joy. Back in the 1990s, there was the popular sitcom entitled Perfect Strangers. Each episode ended on a happy note, with the two main characters rejoicing and doing what they called the dance of joy. There were two main characters, Balky, Bartokomus, and Larry Appleton. Larry would often be embarrassed to do the dance, especially when there were people around. But Balky followed his heart and would do the dance even when there were strangers around. When Balky was laying aside all reservations to celebrate, it reminded me of David. After David had been proclaimed king over all Israel, he built houses for himself and prepared the place for the Ark of Covenant. The passage shows us the second attempt of David to transport the Ark. In 1 Chronicles chapter 14, we read about David's traumatic experience as he tried to bring the Ark to himself. Today, David meticulously pays attention to God's regulations on how to handle the Ark and successfully brings it to Jerusalem. With much joy, we see David dancing with all his might in front of the people. The scene of the celebration teaches us a few lessons. First, we see David's humility in welcoming the ark as he laid aside his royal robes. Second, we see his zeal for the Lord as he worshipped God dancing with all his might. Third, we see how he prioritized God as he laid aside all reservations to worship even if he looked foolish. Michal expressed disgust, saying, How the king of Israel honored himself today, uncovering himself today before the eyes of his servants, female servants, as one of the vulgar fellows shamelessly uncovers himself. But David answered, I will make myself yet more contemptible than this, and I will be abased in their eyes. David shows me my guilt of self-consciousness during praise and worships each Sunday. I feel shy to raise my hands despite prompting from the song leader, and move ever so slightly to the music. Blame it on Chinese culture or personality, I say. I'm not saying that hand raising and dancing is the right way to worship, but we have to worship from the heart. John chapter 4 verse 24 states, God is spirit and those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. Reflection Up to what extent are we willing to make ourselves contemptible in the eyes of men during our active worship? Who are we aiming to please when we sing songs of praise during Sunday service, the audience, the song leaders, or God? How are we worshiping the Lord from the heart? Prayer Lord, you are worthy of all praise. You are spirit and your worshipers must worship in spirit and in truth. Grant us the humility to be willing to make ourselves contemptible that you may be exalted. Grant us the zeal to please you with all our hearts. May our worship be acceptable in your sight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.